Our next guest is no stranger to our kitchen, and today he's making a cranberry glazed salmon that will have you coming back for more. We guarantee it. Please welcome back Chef Brad Miller. What's up, Brad? What's going on? Thanks for having me. Good to see you, man. This is genius uh, for a lot of reasons. A, it's going to be so delicious, but B, this is a great way to use the cranberry sauce that we just made for Thanksgiving or for the holidays. Yeah, you can use the cranberry sauce. I mean, we're going to do some root vegetables. And most of the time, you have a bunch of root vegetables left over. You have cranberry sauce left over after the holidays. Yes. This is a great way to use it up, or you can make it fresh. This dish is just a winner every single time. Yeah, no doubt about it. Okay, so the star of the show, we've got our cranberry sauce and our root uh, vegetables already made, whether, like you say, you made them fresh or whether they're from the, the, you know, the, the holidays before. But we're going to start with the salmon now. And you have a great tip on how to sear salmon. I really I love this tip. Tell us. So... You know, when you sear salmon at home, sometimes when you, you get a good sear on it or you think you're getting a good sear on it, you don't realize that when you pick it up, you see the little, the blotches, because it's not getting that crispy, yes. uh, you know, that crispy even sear. Right. So this is going to be a sear that you're going to remember for every single time you cook fish. So okay. we're going to take our salmon, we're going to do a little salt. Okay. And pepper, both sides. Mm. Very good. Pretty generous with the salt and pepper. This is a pretty thick piece of fish, depending. And then... You always want to give it a little, give it a little touch. Kind of just make it like swim around a little bit. And why is that? This is just to get the oil kind of used to the to the fish going in it. Okay. So I would do that, and then give it a little press. All right. And let it kind of chill. I love watching this. Okay, good. Let it chill for a bit. About how long? And this is where the tip comes in. This is where the tip comes in because most of the time you want to naturally, it's a natural reaction. Yeah. You want to shake the pan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So just let it chill in there for a second. And then this is the key. This is the key that's really going to remember forever. Okay. Whenever you're searing a piece of fish, any fish, this yep. goes for anything. It goes for meat also. Any kind of beef, pork, chicken. You want to pick it up while it's searing, give it a quarter turn, and re-rest it. And the reason is? The reason you want to re-rest this is because... Basically, it's searing, it's get, having a good time, and it's getting all the little spots on it, but when you pick it up and set it back down, the skin that wasn't really setting down on the cast iron or on your oil gets to re-rest and sear. Oh my gosh, it's genius. So, that's amazing. Okay, so we, when, when that's done, uh, th is this when we kind of prep it with a little bit of the cranberry? Yes, After so searing it. make sure you get a nice sear. We, are, we already have a really, really, yeah, really good sear on here. And you want to use a good high heat oil, obviously. You want to get that pan as hot as you possibly can. Yep. So that, you know, it's not smoking, obviously. Very good. And then what you want to do is, this is the time you kind of give it a little flip. Uh-huh. Look at that sear. Look at we that. We already have a beautiful sear. If you want to go harder than that, just let it go a little bit longer. But already with that sear, you can see there's no white spots. It's all even. And then you can take your cranberry. You can make your own cranberry. You can use leftover. Okay, very good. So you do it on top of that sear. Yep. And let me just tell you something as I'm eating this, like that that little uh, crunch, that little crisp on the outside, and the, and the salmon, it's so, so good, man. It's, it's what so separates good. a good piece of fish from a bad piece of fish. Yep. It's like these little tips are how you can become that professional chef at home with these little itty-bitty little things you never knew before. Now you're like, when you're sitting down with your family or you're feeding your friends, they're like, what are you doing? How did you make this so delicious? And it's the little pickup. Quarter turn, that's how you made it so delicious. And the flavors, the cranberry and the salmon, I mean, this is coming together so good. It's so, so tasty. So we have a Beautiful. thick piece of fish. So yeah. what we're going to do, we're going to hit it in the oven. Temperature for how long? 400 degrees, seven minutes depending, but always seven minutes you're going to be safe. Okay, very good to know. Uh, that's amazing. And like you mentioned too, if you've already got your root vegetables made and your cranberry sauce, great. If not... Um, you know, obviously you can whip them up fresh because this is a winner no matter what. By the way, Thanksgiving or Christmas, you know, a lot of these things are you're used in a lot of the holiday meals, so it's perfect. Okay, so we got that in there. So this is beautifully done. It's actually been, since it's been in there, it's been able to rest a little bit. All the juices are coming back. Yep. Now we're just going to plate up these delicious root vegetables. Quick little tip on root vegetables. When you cook them, you want them to all be very even. You want all the different carrots and the parsnips and the root vegetables, okay. you know, a little potato in there. You want it all to be cut about the same size so they cook evenly. You don't have a hard carrot and a mushy potato. You want them all to cook evenly. That's a good tip as well. Absolutely, especially this time of year. Fantastic. And this is going to be a very simple plate up. Okay. This is going to be very, very simple. You simple get our... but beautiful. Oh, yes, it's going to be beautiful. I mean, you're right. It's it's great because, you know, I think we can all handle it, but at the same time, it's a great presentation. And it's the, I mean, the colors of of all these fall holiday vegetables are just so beautiful and it's just so much fun. Okay. So this Look at that. beautiful root vegetables on the yes. plate. Yes. We're gonna grab our nice hot glazed 
cranberry glazed salmon, and we're gonna go right on top. We're gonna get a little fancy with this one. I know I'm eating this now, but I'm also gonna have it for lunch, maybe a little dinner later. Yeah, today. yeah, this is I'm, this is lunch, dinner, it's everything. It's a crowd pleaser, everybody. And this also, you want to grab a little shave fennel. Yep. And you can shave it right before you serve it. You can just take a knife and do it as thin as possible. Okay. And this is just gonna garnish, and it's also gonna give that little bit of freshness and anise flavor to the salmon. It's gonna complement the cranberry. It's gonna be great with the root vegetables. And this is the top, the top of the fennel. Yep. This is the one where when you buy it, you automatically cut it off and get rid of it. You save it and then you garnish with it. Oh, look at that. And this is how you get a delicious and unbelievably colorful and beautiful cranberry glazed salmon with root vegetables. It's incredible. And it's absolutely delicious too, man. You're a genius. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, absolutely. Great to see you. I know it's good, but I'm digging it. Yeah, yeah, dig that's for you. I've got a plate already. For the full recipe, visit hallmarkchannel.com and connect with Brad on his social media at Chef Brad Miller. Man,